As a layman, I would now, let's assume I think we have it. You concur? Better believe it. The revelation of the Higgs boson at CERN brought up new issues that left researchers scratching their heads. What job did the Higgs boson play during the huge explosion? How could it impact the universe's advancement? And most significantly, can the Higgs boson make sense of different inquiries that the standard model of physics neglects to answer? While the world's ongoing most impressive particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, demonstrated the Higgs boson existed, researchers dread the gadget won't be sufficient to open new domains of physics. That is why they have chosen to construct a greater, better, and more powerful particle accelerator that could at last uncover our universe's greatest secret, dark matter and dark energy. Yet, is the world prepared for another atom smasher, one that will put its ancestor to shame? Will this molecule crush or restore fears about the apocalypse? Get ready for the startling mechanical improvements happening right now at CERN. Physicists have long thought that the universe is comprised of significantly more than what we can see. Sadly, even after so many long years of experiments, researchers have been unable to prove that these strange, ghostly particles exist. What's intriguing is that they haven't been able to prove they don't exist either. Our ongoing theory of particle physics is known as the standard model. According to this model, everything in the universe is comprised of a group of 17 particles. Some of these particles, like electrons and the Higgs boson, are more well known, while others, like the charm quark, neutrinos, and gluons, quietly contribute to all that we find in the universe. Some particles are stirred up in various mixes to make larger particles, while some make up the forces of nature. The standard model is all that we know about the universe, but it only explains 5% of all the matter in the universe. Stunning, isn't it? Just 5% of the universe is made of ordinary matter. The rest includes dark energy and dark matter, the latter ruling everything around us by compensating for 69% of the universe. But what is dark energy and dark matter? These ghostly particles are believed to be ghost doppelgangers of the 17 particles of the standard model. They are extremely difficult to detect, as they seldom interact with normal matter. You can think of them as ghosts passing straight through everything and never appearing on any of our natural devices. Dark matter can't be normal matter like the particles that make up the stuff we see around us, like stars, planets, and our bodies, because we know dark matter doesn't interact with light. However, protons, neutrons, and electrons, collectively known as baryons, do. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that dark matter must be something else. We know dark matter exists by the way it interacts with gravity and influences bionic matter, and thus light. If you thought dark matter was interesting, dark energy is much more challenging to identify. It's the force that researchers see driving the speeding up of the universe's expansion following the Big Bang. The universe encountered a sudden expansion, but after that initial growth, it slowed to a near stop. Then, the universe began to grow again. Only this time, there was no Big Bang to set off such an expansion. Believe it or not, this expansion continues up to the present day. So, what's making the universe grow bigger? The answer is dark energy. Sadly, this one answer raises various questions, and researchers are still as ignorant about dark energy as they were when the hypothesis first was proposed. This mystery is unnerving, since it suggests we don't have the foggiest idea of the fundamental force that drives our universe. The best way to explain this quandary is by imagining a kid on a swing. When you push a kid on a swing, it gets the swing moving. The swing may keep going for a while, but eventually, it will stop moving without any action from you. The Big Bang is like the initial push that set the universe's expansion in motion, but the universe is still moving, expanding, even though we can't see any force driving it. That's how dark energy is changing the very fabric of space. So, you can understand why it is so significant for researchers to crack the code of dark matter and dark energy. Now, the good news is, or so we hope, these ghost particles, or dark matter, can break into standard. Model particles under certain circumstances. And that is the best chance to get them on our radars. The only problem is, the Large Hadron Collider hasn't found any non-standard model particles yet. 
that significantly diminishes the chances of the LHC detecting the breakdown of ghost particles in the future as well. This does also spell near certain doom for the search for dark energy and matter. Not entirely. The Large Hadron Collider will soon be replaced by a larger, better, and even more powerful particle accelerator. The new Atom Smasher, named the Future Circular Collider, FCC, will surpass the LHC both in size and power. It will be run under the purview of France and Switzerland, just like the LHC currently does. However, the future accelerator will be over three times bigger than the previous one. CERN's current atom smasher spans over 16.8 miles, 27 kilometers, but the next collider will be 56.5 miles long. It will operate similarly to the LHC, accelerating charged particles around a circle using superconducting magnets, then smashing them together as they approach the speed of light. The real magic lies in the smashing of particles, because that is how new discoveries are made. As researchers observe showers of secondary particles made as a result of this smashing, they can see another side of particle physics that is otherwise hidden from them. Anyway, this whole process heavily depends on the energy at which particles collide. The higher the energy, the higher the chances of finding new particles. Right now, the LHC can achieve energies of around 13 teraelectron volts when operating at full power. However, the future collider should be able to reach energies as extreme as 100 teraelectron volts, which is a huge upgrade. The idea is to focus on the properties of matter at the smallest scale and the highest energy. The discovery of the boson was undoubtedly the amazing achievement of the LHC as it completed the standard model of physics. However, researchers have long felt the standard model needs a few tweaks, which is why they've been trying to look for physics beyond the known particles. Their latest hopes are pinned on the future collider, which is expected to uncover the nature of this ongoing cosmic push and the particles that make up dark matter. Anyway, there's still time until the new collider becomes operational. The initial step in the current long-term process is the feasibility study, which should be completed by 2025. Three years after that, CERN member states will decide whether the FCC project should move forward. If the plan is approved, construction will begin during the 2030s, and the collider will be completed in stages. The first stage is an electron-positron collider, FCC, that will smash together negatively charged electrons and their positive antiparticle partner, called positrons, along with other light particles. The FCC will begin operation in 2045. The second machine of the FCC will be a proton collider, FCH, located next to the FCC in the same cleared tunnel buried under the French Swiss Alps in Lake Geneva. However, this machine won't be operational until 2070. The first phase of the project would cost an estimated $17 billion, worth it to unlock the secrets of the dark universe, according to CERN's director. However, not everyone is as optimistic about the new, all powerful collider. Now, many believe that the world doesn't need another atom smasher, no matter how much better it is than the last one. Critics argue that the project is a waste of money and that the upgraded collider won't make any significant discoveries. Might the new collider ever reveal the universe's secrets? What's your opinion? Let us know in the comments below. Particle physics seeks to understand the fundamental building blocks of the universe the smallest components that make up matter and the forces that govern their interactions. It's a field that has fascinated scientists for centuries, as it not only explains the structure of everything we observe but also explores the nature of the universe itself. What are fundamental particles? At the core of particle physics are the fundamental particles, the smallest building blocks that cannot be subdivided into smaller. Components. These particles are divided into two broad categories, fermions and bosons. Fermions include particles like quarks and leptons, while bosons are force carriers that mediate interactions between particles. The standard model of particle physics is the most complete theory we have of how these particles interact. According to the standard model, all matter is made up of 17 fundamental particles. These particles interact through four fundamental forces. Gravitational force, though it is not included in the standard model, it is understood separately. Electromagnetic force, mediated by photons, affects charged particles. 
weak nuclear force, responsible for radioactive decay, mediated by W and Z bosons. Strong nuclear force, holds atomic nuclei together, mediated by gluons. The discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider, Thoci, was a monumental breakthrough. The Higgs boson is associated with the Higgs field, a theoretical field that gives mass to other fundamental particles. Without the Higgs field, particles would travel at the speed of light, unable to form atoms or matter as we know it. But despite the success of the standard model, it's not the complete picture. There are still many unanswered questions such as what is dark matter, what is dark energy, and how does gravity fit into the quantum world? Dark matter, the invisible puzzle. One of the biggest mysteries of modern physics is dark matter. It is called dark because it doesn't emit light or energy and cannot be detected directly by telescopes or other instruments. However, scientists have inferred its presence from its gravitational effects on visible matter, such as galaxies and galaxy clusters. According to estimates, dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe, yet it remains entirely invisible to us. This unseen matter does not interact with electromagnetic forces, which means it doesn't emit or reflect light. Instead, its presence is only known because of its gravitational effects. For instance, the rotation curves of galaxies, the speed at which stars orbit the center of galaxies, show that galaxies rotate much faster than would be possible based on the observable matter alone. This discrepancy suggests that an unseen mass, dark matter, is holding the galaxies together. Scientists believe dark matter is made up of weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, or other exotic particles that do not interact with light but interact gravitationally and weakly with other matter. Detecting dark matter remains a top priority in experimental physics. The LUX Zeppelin, LZ, experiment and other experiments aim to detect these particles by looking for their rare interactions with normal matter in detectors deep underground, away from cosmic rays and other background noise. Despite decades of searching, no direct detection of dark matter has been made. But the LHC, with its high-energy particle collisions, continues to be one of the key tools in the search for dark matter. The hope is that by smashing particles together at high speeds, scientists may create and detect dark matter particles indirectly through their interaction with normal matter. Dark energy, the force behind the universe's expansion. If dark matter is the invisible substance that exerts gravitational pull, Dark energy is its opposite. Dark energy is the mysterious force that appears to be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Around 100 years ago, astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that galaxies were moving away from us, suggesting that the universe itself was expanding. For much of the 20th century, scientists assumed this expansion would eventually slow down due to the gravitational attraction of all the matter in the universe. However, in 1998, observations of distant supernovae revealed something surprising. The expansion was accelerating. This acceleration cannot be explained by normal matter or dark matter alone, which led scientists to propose the existence of dark energy, a form of energy that permeates all of space and exerts a repulsive force on matter. Dark energy is thought to make up about 68% of the universe. The nature of dark energy is still a mystery. Some theories suggest it is a property of space itself, while others propose it as a force that interacts with matter in an unknown way. In any case, dark energy plays a crucial role in the fate of the universe. Some cosmologists believe it will cause the universe to continue expanding indefinitely, leading to a future where galaxies are so far apart that no light will travel between them, a scenario often called the Big Freeze. Others speculate that it might lead to a Big Rip, where dark energy's repulsive force grows so strong that it tears apart galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms. The search for dark energy, like the search for dark matter, is ongoing. Experiments such as the European Space Agency's Euclid mission aim to map the distribution of dark energy and dark matter across the